Hey everyone, it's Daisy here. Welcome back to another awesome video and today we're going to be making these DIY gift boxes. So what you will need for today is some square sheets, so 6x6 or 12x12 inch, some scissors, glue, and that's pretty much it. So you want to start by folding a piece of paper in half into a triangle and then you want to fold it again the opposite way. You want to then fold the sides of the piece of paper to the center of the paper. So you can do that on all of the different sides and make sure again that the creases are very prominent. This is very important. Once you've done that, you've pretty much created a new fold line and to this you want to then fold each side again to this new fold line to create another new crease. Do this for all of the different sides. All of these creases will be important for the next step. So once all of the creases have been done, you want to then take two of these sides opposite from each other and fold them into the middle. You will then see this little line here of a crease that you've made and you want to cut this into a slip. Cut it carefully up to the point of where the paper ends and then do this on the other side here. Cut it carefully and as straight as you can. These little slit bits will be very important for the box. And then you want to do the same for the other side of the piece of paper. So cut it again along the lines that you've provided yourself. Next is to then start folding it into half of a box. So you want to fold up two of the sides. At this point in time, we are just making the crease again more prominent for later on, but we are pretty much making the size of the box right now. So just make sure that this is done the way I've shown you in the video. The next step is to start folding the other side of the box. So we want to then kind of bend the slit that we've cut earlier like this and do it for both of the sides of one side of the box. It is important to bend the slits into shape so it's easier to form the box. So once they're bent in this sort of way, we want to then start bending them again for reals this time and then with the flap on the top here we want to put that over the two little slit pieces and then kind of fold it over and then pushing onto the little flap piece into place like this. Um, it's pretty easy. The first time you do it it's kind of like what the hell am I doing? Is it working? But it'll work out. Once you've done this, it's optional to then place some glue on the little flappy bit on the inside of the box and secure it in place. You don't have to, but if you want to make the box more secure, then it's a good idea to put some glue in there. So repeat this step for the other side of the box like that. And there you go, there's half of the box done. It looks great. To create the other half of the box or the bottom half of the box, we're going to then do the same steps but this first step is pretty important we're going to leave about half an inch of paper left on the top whilst folding it so as you can see here I've kind of like left a half of an inch around the piece of paper we're going to be cutting this off and this is important to do so you can fit this half of the box inside the other half of the box so the rest of this DIY tutorial is pretty straightforward. You want to follow the steps that I've mentioned and told in detail earlier and just make the bottom side of the box. So this bit is pretty simple. And the more you do this, the more you will get used to making these cute little present boxes. I would like to say I am an expert in making these little present boxes. I had to make 50 of them in a row for a uni assignment. If you guys don't know what uni means, it's kind of like college, but in Australia. If you have a little present like earrings or something little that you've made that you don't have a box for, just make it yourself. It's super simple and super easy to make. If you found this tutorial useful, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more awesome DIY projects like this in the future, make sure to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!